Hi, we adopted AI due to its advantages. Responsible AI is the practice of designing, developing, and deploying AI with good intention to empower businesses and fairly impact customers and society. But how do we trust and what are the qualities of responsible AI? We are going to discuss about in this session about trusted and responsible AI uh, with explainability, adversarial, bias and fairness. Hi, this is Dr. Vamsi Mohan. Yeah, coming to my credentials, uh, I am I'm working as a uh, Chief Technology Officer for a company called Hub, uh, Hub Technologies Private Limited. Uh, coming to my awards and recognitions, I am a, a top 50 global professionals for the year 2022 and a best scientist of the year for 2021. And I also got CXO Excellence Award for 2021 and next 100 CIOs for the year 2020. And I also got recognition as top 50 global thought leaders and influencers for the RPA and data center technologies and cybersecurity as well. Coming to my academics and the credentials, I did my PhD in computer science and engineering and holding several patents in data transmission and cyber security. I did my post graduation in computer science and engineering and master's degree in management from IIM Ahmedabad. I published 40 plus national and international journals and successfully driven several industry academia initiatives with various universities, tier one and tier two technology institutions globally. And also an industry speaker in national and international conferences. Today's agenda is we are going to discuss about the introduction, the principles of responsible AI, which talks about ethics or fairness, as well as accountability, inclusiveness, reliability and safety, transparency, privacy and security. And also we are going to discuss about explainable AI, uh, XAI, which is, uh, and why XAI is important in the growing trends of uh, AI and also what are, what is uh, different principles and benefits of uh, XAI, we are going to discuss about it. And we are going to talk about uh, adversarial AI. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, different uh, uh, ML differences as well as adversarial trainings, switching models and generalized models. And we are going to talk about uh, some of the uh, adversarial attacks such as poisoning attacks, uh, evasion attacks, model stealing attacks, uh, methods of uh, combating attacks as well. And uh, we'll be talking about bias AI, how the bias will be created and what is the intention between these biases and how we can eliminate uh, and how can we create a unbiased system and how to fix the biases in the ML algorithms we are going to talk about. And also we will be talking about the fairness of AI uh, and uh, what are the different metrics for this fairness uh, we will be discussing about followed by the conclusion. Coming to the introduction, uh, the trusted and uh, uh, responsible AI ensures fairness and uh, benefits for the society is uh, vital for future acceptance. Nowadays, we are seeing many uh, threats from the AI systems uh, and uh, because of the uh, no not having a trust, people are hesitant to adopt this. For adopting AI, it should be a trustworthy as well as it is a responsible. And uh, for, respo for these factors, we need a, a fairness, interoperability, and privacy and security in these AI systems. Also, uh, apart from this, we need the good governance 
on the AI systems and regulatory bodies to uh, audit these AI principles as well when they are building. What is the best way to build fairness, interpretability, privacy and security into the enterprise systems? Uh, let, us, let us see how to build a responsible AI. Coming to the AI principles, uh, there are uh, six primary principles uh, which we are going to discuss. One is uh, inclusiveness, accountability, ethical and fairness, reliability, uh, reliability and safety, transparency, privacy and security. Coming to the ethic, ethical or uh, fairness, basically uh, artificial intelligence is widely popular uh, in, from the last couple of years and also uh, it inherits risks of relaying AI has emerged across the number of areas. A power solutions sometimes be uh, discriminatory as we are seeing in the uh, in the recent uh, uh, news and are uh, and are cause potential risks to in, to individuals unable to explain the decisions what is behind the algorithms privacy given their heavy reliance on the data and this also gives a security threats on the uh, lack of ethical or fairness in the in the systems for ethical perspective a should be fair and inclusive in its assertions it should be accountable for the uh, decisions whatever the system has taken coming to the accountability who has to take this accountable the the ai scientists as well as the builders of the systems are accountable for these uh, AI systems. The, the, the accountability comes as an essential pillar for the responsibility of AI. The people who design and deploy the AI systems need to be accountable and enterprise should consider an internal review body that provides oversight, insights and the guidance about developing and deploying the AI systems. Uh, unless a good governance, as we discussed in the previous slide, uh, it is quite difficult to uh, monitor the AI activities. The guidance might be uh, depending on these guidelines can be uh, flexible or uh, a right guidelines needs to be placed according to the uh, company region as well as the industry segments. Uh, such as healthcare, education, or uh, financial uh, segments. And uh, coming to the inclusiveness, uh, it is responsible of the people who build uh, AI solutions to that AI is inclusive and provides a net positive benefit to society. Inclusive means uh, helping the ecosystem where possible such as uh, I can give you one example of uh, speech to text or the text to speech and uh, visual recognition technologies should should be used to empower people with hearing, visual and other impairments. Artificial intelligence, uh, when we are talking about the inclusiveness, inclusiveness is a mandate and should be considered all human races and experiences and inclusive design practices can help developers to understand and address the potential issues. And reliability and safety. AI systems needs to be reliable and safe as we discussed and it should be trustworthy. Its inherent uh, uh, reliance should resist intended or unintended manipulations. Rigorous testing and validation should be established for the operating conditions to ensure that the systems are safely built according to the business cases. As well as continuous monitoring and model tracking is mandated to establish a safe execution. Else it will create a 
uh, the biasing as well as uh, some threads on the system. Transparency is one of the uh, factor or a principle of, uh, of responsible AI. Uh, achieving transparency helps AI stakeholders to understand the data and algorithms used to train this model. Trans transformation logic and its associated assets. This gives uh, a, a great confidence to the stakeholders who are using these AI systems. The information offers the insights about how the model was created, which allows it to be reproduced in a transparency transparent way uh, comes as part of the uh, principle. And also, uh, one of the principle is uh, privacy and security. When we are talking about the privacy, privacy means one of the recurrent uh, recurrent concern that people have about uh, AI technologies or AI systems. The personal data needs to be secure one of, and it should be accessed in a way that doesn't compromise an individual privacy. Data privacy is a critical factor when we are talking about uh, either, either enterprise systems or uh, AI systems. These, uh, these data privacy is often linked with the A models based on the consumer data. Explainable AI or interpretable AI, the term defines or uh, explains or interprets the AI derived solutions understood by the engineers and the scientists. XAI is a artificial intelligence framework which the results of the solution can be understood by the human beings. It aligns and supports the white box in machine learning where engineers and scientists can explain why an AI arrived at a specific question. XAI is implemented as a social right to explanation. XAI is relevant even if there is no XAI legal right or regulatory requirements. Scientists should be able to explain to, the, to their stakeholders how they have uh, achieved certain levels of accuracy and what influenced the outcome. To comply with this enterprise policies, auditors needs a specific set of right tools to validate these AI models as well as uh, uh, the business decision makers can take a right decisions while incorporating the AI models in their systems. Yeah, we are going to discuss why AI XAI is important. It is crucial for enterprises to learn and understand how these AI decision making processes without blindly depending on the AI systems. And also XAI helps to understand and explain machine learning algorithms, deep learning and neural networks. And one of the uh, one of the critical factor is X, uh, ML models are like a black boxing. No, uh, it is quite difficult to understand and interpret uh, about the nitty gritties of the system. Neural networks used in deep learning are some of the hardest things to uh, for humans to understand. And also the biasing of biasing of the system based on the race, gender or location has been a long-standing risk in the training models as well as the A model performance can drift or a degrade to the production data uh, from the training data as the data varies from the, uh, the training environment to the production environment. This makes it cr crucial for uh, uh, businesses to continuously monitor and a model to promote a explainability while measuring the business impact of such algorithms. The principles of uh, AA is also uh, introduced by National Institute of Stand Standards and Technology. There are four principles introduced. Uh, the first one is AA system should provide explanations that are backed by the evidences which uh, primarily talks about XAI and also explanations should be meaningful 
in a way that can be understood by the users of the AI. This talks about the clear definitions of the models and what are the what algorithms they have used and what is the intent of these algorithms has to be explained and and documented as part of this process and and it should be accurate describing the ai system process as well this helps the auditors to audit the models and uh, follow in line with the uh, with the corporate governances on the uh, on the ai systems also ai system should operate within the limits that they were designed for uh, this is this talks about the scoping of the IA system. Uh, a particular scoping needs to be applied when designing the IA models, and it should be it should work within the uh, limits of those uh, principles. These four principles capture a, a variety of disciplines that contributes to explainable AI, uh, including uh, uh, different competencies like. Uh, computer science or healthcare or psychology or engineering and what are the benefits of explainable AI Up, the first benefit is operationalize with AI uh, trust and confidence and reduce time to AI results migrate risk and cost of governance models the operationalized AI uh, with the trust and confidence helps to build trust in production systems as well as rapidly bring AI models to the production uh, easily. Ensure interoperab interoperability uh, and uh, explainability of AI models. Simplify the process of model evaluating while increasing the model transparency and traceability. This helps to operationalize A with a trust and confidence uh, for the deployment prospect. As well as uh, systematically monitor and uh, uh, manage models to optimize the business outcomes and, and continuous evolution as we discussed in the previous slide, uh, a monitoring mechanism is needed uh, to, uh, to track and evaluate the improved models. This helps to, uh, to reduce the uh, blind spots as well as increase the performance of the AI systems. And, and the third benefit is mitigate risks and the cost of the model governances. This helps to keep AI models explainable and transparent. And uh, manage regulatory co compliances and uh, risks and other requirements helps as per the governance model. Adversarial A helps in, in the cyber security, uh, especially the threat intelligence or uh, vulnerability detection. Machine learning offers many benefits to the companies, but it can also enhance threat actors attacking uh, progress. Machine learning models are complicated to understand and this poor understanding is exploited by the hackers or attackers uh, on these hidden weaknesses. They could trick the model into a making incorrect predictions or give away sensitive information. Fake data could even use it to corrupt models without using, uh, without unknown using the, uh, the uh, data. The field of adversarial Machine learning aims to address these weaknesses. And also, adversarial learning aims to uh, these some of the technique, uh, some of the tricks uh, machine learning models provide by the defective inputs. These are, uh, these are causing the uh, vulnerabilities as well as threats. Uh, such attacks to overcome it, adversarial learning helps to uh, understand and build the models efficiently. The most successful techniques to train AI systems to understand these attacks fall under two classes. One is adversarial training and the second one is defensive distillation. 
Adversarial training is a brute force supervised learning method where many adversarial examples as possible it will be fed into the system and it automatically whenever the threat comes or a similar kind of a uh, threats comes into the system it detects and uh, eliminates from the uh, cube this is similar to the approach most of the antivirus softwares work on our systems the second kind of uh, uh, the second class of the class of uh, AI systems are defensive distillation this strategy adds flexibility to the algorithms classification uh, so that uh, it will be applied on the on the model output of the second model there is an advantage with this basically uh, the advantage of this distillation approach is that adaptable to the unknown threats and it is a progressively increasing however the biggest dis disadvantage is while the second model has more uh, wiggle room to reject input manipulations it is still bound to the general rule of the first model because of that even though it is a progressive model some of the hidden uh, in hidden insights will be still there in the second model as well with that the efficiency of the second model might reduce because of the first model the drawbacks yeah coming to the adversarial training the first approach is to train the model to identify adversarial examples like uh, the image loading to the system uh, with the recognition model that classifies uh, uh, different segments and it would be uh, the hope is that by rigorous training of these models it are it effectively it works on the uh, incoming uh, threats and it, it separates from the cube. The problem is that it may be difficult to discover these adversarial examples in the first place. So research in this area not only aims at defending against them but also automatically discovering. There are, uh, there are many tools in the, in the market on the adversarial robustness. Uh, one of the tools uh, recently developed by IBM uh, which is quite effective. Uh, further adversarial training impacts. Switching models protect the system from multiple attacks. The approach is to use multiple models within the system. The model used to predict uh, the, ch uh, the changes randomly. This creates moving target as an attacker would not know which model is currently used. However, this is a costlier effect. At the same time, they may also to compromise all the models in order for an attack to be successful. Poisoning our findings, adversarial examples for multiple models is much harder than for the just ones. As I uh, as uh, we discussed, this is a costlier effect uh, for the uh, model switching. Generalized model approach focus on the data and models. It is important to remember the models doesn't exist and in an isolation as they are part of the larger systems. This means many attackers can avoid it with changes to the system in general. For example, encrypting and good password practices can protect database, making poisoning effects less likely. Uh, likewise, uh, the other example when we are talking about the spam filtering or a spam mails coming to the inbox uh, when when there is in when the uh, mails coming uh, coming to the inboxes when when the rejected mails when we are sending to the the sender as a rejected mail it helps the attacker to track and uh, and trace out uh, whether whether it is a, a right format it it sent to the inbox or not this uh, helps the attacker to predict in a, uh, whether the action he did it in a genuine way or not. Coming to the uh, adversarial attacks, there are uh, primarily four kinds of uh, different attacks. One is uh, uh, poisoning attacks, uh, evasion attacks, model stealing and 
methods of combating attacks. Machine learning can help us automate more complicated tasks. The downside is that the model is introduced a new target for attackers to exploit. New types of attacks can be used against IT systems. This primarily use, as I told you, uh, poisoning uh, attacks and model stealing attacks are primary in these adversarial attacks. Coming to the poisoning attacks, uh, it focuses on the data used to train the model. Attackers will change existing data or mislabel uh, the uh, data, data and input to the system. The model trained these data will make incorrect pre predictions on the correctly labeled data. This automatically the entire the system will be misguided. Uh, attack, attackers misguide these systems by changing the existing data or existing labels. And uh, I, uh, we, can, we can have an example. Uh, an attacker can change the la uh, labels or uh, relabel the existing uh, data and it could, uh, it could cause uh, frauds. Even in case of uh, autonomous systems or uh, autonomous vehicles, when these labels are getting changed, automatically uh, a driverless car uh, will will see the signals as a red signal into the green or a green into the uh, uh, green signal into the red. Automatically, it hampers the entire system. Evasion attacks focus on the model itself. They involve modifying data to seem legitimate, but leads to the incorrect predictions. To be clear, the attackers modifies the data used by the model to make predictions and not data used to be trained models. Like uh, image recognitions and the pattern findings uh, will be uh, completely misinterpreted. For example, recently uh, researchers at Google showed how introducing specific noise into an image could change the predictions of an uh, image recognition model. Yeah, model stealing attack focus on the stealing the models after it has been trained. Specifically, an attacker wants to learn about the structure of the model which has already trained and it st stealing this model helps the attacker to learn about the model and uh, gain the uh, financial benefit or the data which is trained to use it. Uh, and also the attacker could use this information for further attacks as well. For example, they, they could find exact what words a spam filtering model will flag. The attacker could then alter spam phishing emails to, uh, to ensure these spam mails are delivered to the inboxes. Coming to the combating attacks, the way we defend our ML systems depends on the type of models which we use. Many problems can be solved simply models like linear regression or logistic regressions. More complicated models like neural networks are uh, less interceptable. Uh, this means that we are uh, at a poorer understanding of inner workings of the model. This leads to the hidden weaknesses and more opportunities for the attacks. This is why most research in this field, adversarial machine learning is aimed at combating attacks against these models. Let's discuss about the biasing. How the biases will be happening? And is it intentional or unintentional? How the systems, the AI systems are biased with respect to the several factors. When coming to the biasing, A bias is an anomaly in the output of machine learning algorithms. Due to the prejudice assumptions made during the algorithm development process or prejudice in the uh, training data, uh, the biasing happens. There are two primarily uh, kind of uh, uh, biasing one is a cognitive bias and the second one is lack of complete data 
cognitive bias basically uh, it depends on the uh, on the stakeholders or the, the scientists and the engineers who works for this uh, AI system uh, intentionally they have created some biasing in the system which works according to the uh, the inputs given by the engineers De designers knowingly or unknowingly introduce uh, this biasing to the models and a training data set uh, which includes some of these biases that is why uh, with a strong governance model and a regulatories it avoids the cognitive biasing uh, from the uh, uh, from being biased AI systems and the second kind of a category is lack of complete data if data is not complete it may not be representative and therefore it may cause uh, biases how to make a, a unbiased uh, this uh, some of some of the recommendations uh, is given from the industry is uh, if you clean your training data from the conscious and unconscious assumptions like a race gender or other ideological concepts uh, the system will be cleaned and it can be uh, far uh, from the uh, biased systems and and uh, it will be uh, it will create uh, unbiased data driven decisions this is this is one of the the cleaning activity uh, helps the ai systems to be unbiased as well as uh, to minimize the ai bias it can uh, possibly be possibly by testing data and algorithms and developing AI systems with the responsible AI principles. Uh, basically, the human nature uh, creates the biasing when different uh, race or a different category of uh, humans, when they are training these models, they uh, intentionally they uh, make the AI systems biased. This can be, can be eliminated as we discussed in the, uh, in the uh, previous slides uh, a strong governance mechanism is required one of the question is how to fix uh, uh, fix biases in AI and machine learning algorithms and a straight forward uh, one of one of the approach is removing the labels from the trained data and uh, putting into the system but it may cause uh, the entire system uh, uh, clumsy as well as uh, it the main intention of this a system uh, will will be uh, will be questioned let's talk about the fairness of a uh, fairness is a, a ubiquitous term in artificial intelligence and machine learning fairness is a gen generic concept not restricted to the a any decision making system can exhibit bias towards certain factors and thus needs to be evaluated for fairness. Fairness is tested by verifying if the system is unbiased as per the pre-established ethical principles. Fairness uh, metrics in AI, there are many different definitions of uh, fairness. They often conflict each other. The definitions you can choose depends on the context which the decision making is being made. Fairness through an unawareness. Basically, uh, it is without in, uh, intentional or unknowingly uh, keeping the factors into the system and expecting the fairness. However, the, uh, the blind spots are still exist in the system that needs to be uh, come out of the AI uh, building platforms. And the second one is a demographic parity. The focus is equalizing the selection rate between privileged and the non-privileged groups. There are two metrics commonly used. The first one is a disparate impact ratio. The second one is a statistical parity differences. Disparate impact ratio, the ratio of rate of a favorable outcome for the unprivileged group to the of the privileged group is a disparate uh, disparate impact ratio and statistical parity difference uh, 
uh, is the difference in the rate of uh, favorable outcomes received by the unprivileged group to the privileged group. This also uh, create uh, fairness in the A. Also equal opportunity and equalized odds are uh, uh, different factors when achieving the fairness in the uh, uh, in the in the in the AA systems coming to the conclusion a primary argument supporting a the efficiencies and the capabilities of this technology which surprises human abilities the arguments against uncontrolled development of a presented by the technologies specialists and the scientists argue that it is unclear by placing right measures regulations and the governance a will become a boon for the humankind. We are, we are privileged to have computing machines which we resisted in the era of 70s and 80s. Hence, while artificial intelligence and machine learnings are rapidly changing, our world and uh, powering the fourth revolution, humani humanity does not need to be afraid and uh, leverage the uh, benefits of yeah. This ends the session. I hope this is uh, valuable and uh, useful for you. Uh, thank you very much for being part of this session. And thanks to Linux Foundation and Open Source Summit.